In July 2018, Joseph DeMeo was driving home after a night shift when his car veered off the road and flipped over, bursting into flames. What followed was an accident that saw 80% of his body bend. You know, I crawled out halfway and someone pulled me out the rest of the way. And uh, I woke up from a coma three and a half months later. With when Joseph woke up from coma, he had severe facial scarring, which affected him and his ability to lead an independent life. Facial therapy came in the next morning, was working on my hands. I didn't really know what happened to my hands until like a week later. And then physical therapy came in and it turns out I couldn't even do a sit up, which mm. was really annoying. Like, you know, I lost like 70 pounds of muscle. In 2019, Joseph met Dr. Eduardo Rodriguez and his team at New York University's Langone's face transplant program to be evaluated for a face and double hand transplant. With a 6% chance of finding a compatible donor, he found one after 10 months on the wait list. So I saw Dr. Rodriguez, he said I could do this, but there's never been a successful one before. You could be the first, but you know, there's, you know, you could die. But I said yes immediately. Did you get to know any information about who the donor was? Uh, the donor was uh, 48 and passed through a stroke. That's all I really know about. Uh, it's up to the donor family if they want to tell me more, but I do understand why they don't want to see me or uh, talk to me. You know, they, they lost a loved one and it's on someone else's face and hand. So I completely understand. It was a complex and delicate 23-hour surgery on August 12, 2020, with a team of more than 140 physicians, nurses, and support staff, marking the world's first successful face and double hand transplant. The donor's face was carefully transplanted onto Joseph's skull, giving him a new face. What followed was a long recovery process. Almost four years after surgery, Joseph has returned to his daily routine and activities he enjoyed before the accident. He found love as well. After my surgery, I was getting a bunch of followers, but she stood out because she had a Boston Terrier, the same dog breed that I did. So I DM'd her about her dog, saying, I like your dog. And then we just started talking from there and it just connected. She came over to my parents' house and uh, she just kept coming back, and now we're here. Uh, she does a lot of things for me, like a lot of like, like stuff that people won't realize. That. Joseph is grateful to the donor's family for giving him a second chance at life, and he hopes to use his experience to write a book as well as encourage others. Joseph's story highlights the need for organ donation awareness and legislation in Ghana. Organ donation is like, you get to live another life. You're not going to need the organs when, you, you know, when that person passes away. So when they pass away, you could just donate your insides. You know, it doesn't have to be your face or, you know, your skin. So you can have an open casket. Just the insides uh, can just benefit other people that are suffering from, like, birth from medical conditions or uh, just something that happens throughout life. And people can live longer, uh, especially the heart, liver, lungs, I've, I've heard. Joseph's story is also a testament to the capacity of humans to overcome adversity, a celebration of the advancements of medicine, and a reminder of the generosity of a donor and their family who chose to give another human being a second chance at life. What's the biggest lesson that this experience has taught you? Just be patient. Nothing is ever perfect in life. You know, stay in your lane, work on yourself, and once, once you're done working on yourself, then Good people are come around you, and that's when you like it a lot better. Portia Gabo, TV3 News.